six, bearing 180, very faint tonal contact on a narrow band, no other information, bearing drawing slow left. Third contact, 028, bearing 090, two shots, small merchant vessel, bearing drawing left. I've been making theatre with Sound and Fury for almost ten years. Um, I'm one of the co-artistic directors and I formed the company with my brother Tom and Dan Jones who's a sound designer and composer and theatre director with me. And that set us on this, this journey which has brought us into making this rather ambitious world um, known as Kursk. Ask a two-class submarine, aka a show set on board a submarine that immerses its audience in the highly technical world um, of that environment. I'm a co-director of Sound and Fury. Um, I'm also an actor. I've been an actor for nine years. I've been working on this show for just over four years now, since the first development stage. We are the uh, technicians on Kursk, and we run, we basically run the joint. <laughs> Um, my training has been slightly maverick. I did a lot of drama when I was at university. I did an arts degree. Um, and then I worked in the theatre in the press and marketing department. And I've written about theatre for the press and, and so on. I've always wanted to be an actor and an independent actor who has done different things. Anything from radio, television, film, if it happens, and, and theatre. Um, but I'm also aware that that's not always... I'm not always in the good fortunate position to be always making a living from that uh, and so it's been good to have a, a company um, where you can actually try and put on the work that you really want to put on. I did nine years in the Navy and five of those were in submarines. Uh, the submarine broke down in Plymouth and Tim Brooke Taylor and Sue Pollard were at the whole theatre doing a show called Not Now Darling. And I went to the theatre, saw the show and <clears throat> all those ambitions I had as a child sort of came to the fore and um, I thought I'll give it a go. I'll leave the Navy to become an actor. So I spent two years in a soap opera called Family Affairs. From there just doing lots of, became a jobbing actor doing various bits of TV. I went to drama school with the, the hope of being an actor um, but in fact through that process realised that there was a lot more to uh, making theatre than just acting and I enjoyed uh, being in control more than um, I was able to follow a director's vision as an actor. Apart from anything else, I wasn't very good at acting. Um, so it was uh, producing felt like a natural progression. I went to Middlesex University and got a degree in drama and technical theatre studies. I started off, I went there as an 18 year old wanting to be a famous actor. And um, <laughs> halfway through the first year, I kind of really got interested in. Um, the technical elements of theatre and found them to be a bit more rewarding and enjoyed them a lot more than kind of learning lines and you know I quite enjoy being involved in um, in big the projects like this one you know creating a space like this was was a huge a huge team effort and being part of that team was something that attracted me to being a theatre technician. I think the most important thing I say is do it your way really you know have confidence in your ideas believe in them but also listen, listen to people and listen to what they have to say and how they, how they might be able to invest your work with their very particular skill.